uh, showing not telling is, is I think probably the trickiest thing for every writer because you're trying, you really want the reader to understand your characters and your story in the beginning. So people tend to be overzealous with the information in the first few chapters. Um, and so therefore I think you have to, the chapter breakdown is very helpful because that will, that, will, that will show you about plot and plotting and pacing. So that's very important. Do your chapter breakdown so you see where the story is going and you can realize where you can slot in vital information throughout the book without dumping it all in the first few chapters. And also remember, you're trying to engage somebody. There is so much competition out there. There are so many books out there. You have to really engage them. And if you haven't captured them by the first two or three chapters, they're going to put it down. People are very short on time at the moment. There's lots of other things they can be doing. So you must capture them. It's about atmosphere. It's about the sense of, I find that I think the books I've written that are set in winter, a particular one around Halloween, um, I was very conscious of trying to set the sense of what was going on in the sky um, and that had an impact on the story. So you're not, you know, the 19th century novel used to describe a forest because there was a lot of people who'd never seen one, you know. So we've all seen a forest, we've all seen a tree, we've all been to the cinema. So it, you don't need to spend ages. If you're describing stuff, you need a reason um, and it generally needs to be on point with the, with the plot, with the atmosphere, with the, with the texture of a scene. A physical description is important in the crime, in, in, in the crime novel because people, the, the look of people um, has, has, a, has a, a significance. The first novel was drenched with a sense of smell. There was gorse, incense, incense reminding him of gorse. I, it was, it was a, a novel about it, the characters just buried his mother and then he embarks on this quite intense sexual affair with the woman who's hired him, which is never a good idea. But, and, and, and she smells of um, grapefruit, uh, uh, Joe Malone grapefruit scent. And it seemed to me the grief and then the desire uh, were evoked by the, by the sense of smell. And that's just an instinctual thing. I, I, I sense of smell is very vivid um, and quite animalistic. And so it helped to physicalize rather than intellectualize and, and therefore convey something. Because again, I guess this is to do. This is to do with showing, not telling. Is that you know, you you can't have him saying, "Oh, I like the look of her." You know, he sounds like a creep. Um, but it also is just an opinion. It doesn't seem to mean anything. Whereas if if there's a sense that he he he's aware of what she smells like, that speaks to a reader at a completely different level. It is a trigger. It's a visceral response in the in the in the reader. I think when you're setting up a chapter, it's very important to have all the, all the aspects in it. First of all, the reader needs to know where you are. Um, maybe, you know, give us a bit of a description. What, what color are the walls? What tea are they drinking? What are they wearing? You know, not, not in the clunky way, but just give us, give us a feel for where the person is, for where the people are. Um, and then go forth with your dialogue. But again, you know, make sure it's not too, people aren't being long-winded. Um, and also you need, to, you need to break up your dialogue because just heavy dialogue, you need to break it up by saying, you know, giving a description of what the character is doing. And in fact, when you describe what a char character does physically, it's very telling. So I would always think it's very important to, you know, think about what they're doing. How are they drinking? How are they sitting? How are they sighing? How are they feeling? Give us, some, give us that as well to break up the dialogue. Um, so I think you need everything. I mean, with every chapter, there has to be everything. And with every chapter, the story has to be constantly moved forward. And that's something that I that I have learned as well. You can't just have a chapter. Cause you might have a great idea for a scene, but you can't just plunk it into the middle of the book. It has to move the story forward. The other thing that's very important with chapters is timing. Again, I had a scene in a restaurant once, and I completely forgot they didn't order, they didn't eat. I was so engrossed in my dialogue that they, the rest, having set them in a restaurant, that there then was no mention of the restaurant. So that's something that I've learned again. You know, if you are setting somebody somewhere, make sure it's something that you can work with. I think as a writer, you need to listen differently, observe differently, soak in differently, and allow it, allow it to come from here to, from here to here to, to the keyboard, because it's so important. 